In 2002, with best-selling albums, multiple endorsements, and highly rated TV shows under her belt. Her popularity throughout South Korea is massive, often dubbed as Jane Nare Syndrome. And eventually, her popularity extended to China and other Asian countries. Here is the story of Jane Nara. Jane Nare was born in Seoul, South Korea on March 18, 1981. Her father Ju Hyo Sung is also an actor. She appeared in the play Les Miserables with her father when she was a young girl, thus developing an early interest in acting. During her high school days, she worked as a model in television advertisements. Later, she went to the Cheonong University, where she studied fine arts with major in acting. During her time at the university, she performed in various plays and musicals. Because of her involvement in various activities, her graduation was much delayed. She eventually graduated in February 2010. Jane Nare began her musical career in 2001 and soon signed a contract with SM Entertainment. However, she was dropped as they assumed that she wouldn't gain much popularity. Shortly after, she released her debut album First Story. The album wasn't received well initially. But after she released more tracks from the album, its popularity grew and it reached several charts. She received many awards as well. Jane Nare began her acting career in 2001 with a role in the TV series New Nonstop. The following year, she played the lead role in the romantic comedy series Successful Story of a Bright Girl. The series became a huge success, winning multiple awards. The same year, she appeared in another comedy series My Love Potsy, which was also a success. Her second album Jang Nara Vol. 2 Sweet Dream, which was released in 2002, also became hugely popular. The song Sweet Dream went on to become a super hit. The album became one of the top-selling ones of 2002. In December 2003, she released her third album Third Story. It was a success, though it didn't surpass the popularity of her second album. In 2003, she made her first appearance on the big screen, with her role in the film O. Happy Day! Her popularity continued to grow with her appearances in other TV series such as Love is All Around and Wedding. In 2005, she appeared in the Chinese drama My Bratty Princess, which helped to increase her stardom in China. Baby Faced Beauty, a 2011 TV series, can be considered one of the most successful works in Jang Naore's career. Directed by Lee Jin-sen and Lee so yun the series follows an aspiring fashion designer who fakes her age to find work in a fashion company. The series gained huge popularity. With Jang Naore in the lead role, the series also starred Choi Daniel, Ryu Jin, and Kim Min Seo. Hello Monster directed by No Sang-hoon and Kim Jin-won, the mystery thriller series aired from June 2015. The cast included Seo In-guk, Jang Nare, Choi Won-young, and Park Bo-gum. The series gained a lot of popularity, as well as won multiple awards and nominations. In 2017, Jang was cast in the romantic fantasy drama Confession Couple. The series was a success, and won acclaim from viewers. She also won the Excellence Award for an Actress in a Miniseries at the 2017 KBS Drama Awards. In 2018, Jang was cast in the mystery thriller drama The Last Empress, playing a musical actress who becomes the empress of a modern-day monarch. The series received high ratings and Jang was praised for her performance with her wide range in acting. In 2021, she appeared in the occult TV series Sell Your Haunted House as Hong Jia, an exorcist and CEO of Dayback Realty, a real estate company which only sells haunted properties. In 2002, Jang was named as CF Queen by various news outlets. This is due to her rising number of product endorsements ranging from telecommunications, automobile, Kia Spectra, fashion, smart uniform, fast food, Popeyes, to alcoholic beverages. During her peak time in 2002 she suffered a lot. Her workload took a toll on her health. 
She disclosed in an interview on Healing Camp that she suffered from gastric ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, panic disorder, bulimia, and acrophobia due to intense stress and pressure as a celebrity. She also halted her singing activities in 2014 due to stage phobia and focused her work on acting. On June 3, 2022, Jane announced that she will be marrying her non-celebrity boyfriend, who is six years younger than her. Their private wedding ceremony was held on June 26, 2022. I fell for his pretty smile and devoted kind heart. Most of all, I fell for the passion he has for his work. Jane Naare and her fiancé first met while working on a drama together. Can you believe she is 42 years old? Thank you for watching and if you have any recommendations for the next video, please, leave a comment below.